I'm Marco Mijolaro. I'm the team captain of Minotaur. I'm the coordinator of the RealBots teams, and I have many students working not only on Minotaur, but in robots in all weight categories, from 150 grams until Minotaur. The first time I heard about combat robotics was late 2002. I learned about it because there was national competitions in Brazil, with student competitions. 2003, we started competing there. We have a very intense fight scene in Brazil. Back in 2001, when I actually started in Brazil, these uh, robot competitions, they were organized by the students from several universities. They didn't have a, a teacher, professor. I was kind of the only exception of a professor that was participating in the events, actually putting my hands on the robot and not just coordinating it. Many professors in the university saw that as a destructive sport. They didn't see the science in it. So one of the motivations I had to write the, the book, the tutorial, was of course first to teach the students and also to show that you could learn a lot about uh, physics with this sport. I put the tutorial for the free download in Brazil and then I made an expanded version in English which is also free on the internet. So I, I think it helped a lot. Many teams when they win against us say, hey I won because I did that to what you thought. I thought that's great because uh, that's the impact, getting better than your teacher. When I started coordinating the RealBot team in the university, there was a huge impact on the students. I many students that were thinking about leaving engineering because it was too tough, you know, calculus and everything derived in the first semester. And then when they saw that they had an application, you know, that that was something that they could be really useful, I think it helped them a lot. Many students that uh, went through RealBot during their undergraduate course, they ended up uh, doing graduate courses in mechanical engineering and also in automation control. They are working in several companies in, in Brazil about automation and they usually say that they learned a lot from the team. You know, actually, even they said that during their, their job interview, <laughs> they, they were asked if they were in the RealBot team and the guys usually smile because they know they have some hands-on training as well, not only the academic background. So I th it think it helped them become better engineers. Many teams that were created, they had in Brazil, they have bots in the end because, with Z because of real bots. So they want to be their version of real bots. That makes me proud because they, they want to look up to and they can win against us. That's the best thing. See, they, they are getting better than us as well. Who do you think that you've seen here that would do well in the competitions that you guys have in Brazil that, that, that run in Brazil? Oh, so, uh, so many teams, I can't, I can't even name them, you know? <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is that many famous robots I met here for the first time. Yeah, oh, really? Because I've been competing in the West Coast in the mm -hmm. past, so I knew more of the West Coast scene, and many, many good robots didn't compete there, so... Absolutely. I, I saw them in 3D <laughs> in live, <laughs> and it was very exciting, I learned a lot from this. I think Noro Havoc is the best organized competition that I've been into, that I've seen. It's nice to see how many builders they attract. And I watched the stream back to back and I was amazed about the quality of the competitors here. And see many people, many familiar faces also from BattleBots here. That was the best place to test our robots. So that's what drove us to come here and be here. If you're gonna fly to the US to fight, it's gonna be a big event. We did a nine hour flight to Miami and then changed <laughs> for a three hour flight to New York, then rain to the uh, van to come here. So it's a huge trip, like almost a one-day trip to get here, but it's but it's worth it to be here. And I'm very happy to be here. And no matter what happens, win or lose, uh, I'm gonna learn a lot. <laughs>